Hi there, my name is Jasmine and I'm a member of the education team here at the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority. I'm here today to talk to you about Asian carps and the threat that they can pose to our Great Lakes ecosystem, such as Lake Ontario that you can see behind me. Asian carps were introduced to the southern U.S. in the late 1960s and 1970s for use in aquaculture ponds where farmers were growing fish to help control some of the algae and plants that they had growing in their ponds. Due to flooding, these fish eventually escaped and over the past years, they have been making their way further and further north. These fish are invasive in North America, which means they were introduced here and now that they're here, they have the potential to really damage our ecosystems and the health of our environments. We can already see some of the damage that they're doing in the southern USA. Currently, there are no established populations of Asian carps here in the Great Lakes region or anywhere in Canada. However, it is predicted that without adequate prevention, they will eventually become established here. A key piece to preventing Asian carps from becoming established in Canadian waters is learning how to identify them correctly. Now, of the group of Asian carps, there are four different Asian carp species. There is the silver carp, the big head carp, the grass carp, and the black carp. The most immediate threat to our Great Lakes is actually the grass carp. Now I have here a model of the grass carp, and this is actually how large they can get. They can weigh up to 35 to 40 kilograms, and they can eat up to 40% of their body weight every single day. They mostly feed on aquatic vegetation, so you can imagine what kind of damage that can do to an ecosystem. As they're eating all of this aquatic vegetation, they're taking away plant material from our other native fish species that would use it to eat, or to hide from predators. And this can also damage the larger ecosystem as a whole. We can picture a wetland ecosystem where we have native fish, we have frogs, we have native bird species. By destroying the underwater habitat, it can destroy the health of the larger environment as well, which can affect some of our native bird species that live here in Toronto. Now you may be thinking, what about common carp? I've heard of common carp before, and I know that it's here in the Great Lakes. Is that included in the Asian carp group? Well, actually, common carp, like the model I have here, is an invasive fish species, and it is a carp from Asia. The difference is that it was introduced here to North America a much longer time ago, and it is already established here in Toronto and in our surrounding Great Lakes region. The four Asian carp species, including the grass carp, are not yet established here in any Canadian waters, including the Great Lakes. We need to survey for them to detect them early and to prevent them from becoming established here in Canada and causing damage to our Great Lakes ecosystems and our native fish species. And this is where we need your help. Tips from the public are essential for ensuring that we can detect Asian carp in Canadian waters as soon as possible um, before they begin reproducing and becoming established here. And this is where knowing about the common carp and knowing how to identify it is actually really helpful. So between our common carp and our grass carp, there are a few similarities, but there are also a few key differences. One main difference is that the common carp has a dorsal fin that is very long and stretches from the middle of its back almost all the way to its tail. The grass carp, however, as you can see here, has a very short and thin dorsal fin. Another key identifying feature is that our common carp has barbels coming up from its mouth, whereas our grass carp does not have any barbels. Now, I should mention that this does not display an accurate size representation. Common carp, just like the grass carp, can also grow very, very large. If you think you have found a grass carp, please report it. You can find more information on how to do so in the links in the description below. TRCA works in partnership with Fisheries and Oceans Canada to survey for Asian carps here in the Toronto region with a focus on early detection. You can watch our recent video all about monitoring for Asian carps to learn more about what our TRCA team is doing to prevent Asian carps from becoming established here. 
Thanks to our regular fisheries monitoring work, we did find five grass carp in Toronto in 2015, but our targeted surveillance efforts and continued fisheries monitoring in partnership with DFO have not found any further evidence of grass carp within the Toronto Regional Waterfront. Here at TRCA, by combining our monitoring efforts with our public outreach, we are working hard to make sure that our Canadian waters stay healthy. And we need your help. Learn how to identify these different fish species, and you can follow the links in the description to learn more about them and more about what you can do. Thanks so much for watching.